This is decision after decision after decision designed to cause the price to go from $2.09 to $4.00. Respect my authority! This was deliberate. This isn't an accident. This isn't an unintended side effect. This is exactly what Joe Biden promised he would do. Of the, uh, and it's what uh, he's done. If you look at when Biden was sworn in, gas nationally was $2.09 a gallon. On that first day, what does Biden do? He cancels the Keystone Pipeline. Boom, day one. After that, January 27th, a week later, he halts all new oil and gas leases on federal land. Next, February 19th, he rejoins the Paris Climate Agreement. 7th, 2021, Biden the, takes 30% of, the, uh... of land off limits to oil and gas. Price keeps going up. June 1st, he halts drilling in Anwar, the incredibly petroleum rich section of Alaska, shuts it down. Price keeps going up. June 30th, Congress reverses the Trump natural gas regulations. October 7th, Biden reverses the Trump NEPA regulations. October 29th, Interior begins the quote, social cost of carbon designed again to drive gas prices up. November 15th, a moratorium on oil drilling in the Chaco Canyon. And then February 20, Russia invades Ukraine. By the way, Biden is trying to blame Putin for the increase. And listen, Putin bears some responsibility for that increase, but he doesn't bear responsibility for all of this. All of this happened before Putin invaded Ukraine. March 21st, March 1st, rather, Biden releases oil from the Strategic Petroleum Reserve. March 21st, the SEC proposes an anti-oil rule. Let's shut off equity. By the way, you combine that with the banking regulators that Biden put forth who are trying to shut off debt. So if you have no equity for drilling oil and gas and you have no debt for drilling oil and gas, you know what that means? You have no money for drilling oil and gas. And what happens is the price keeps going up and up and up. And then May 12th, Biden cancels the remaining lease sales. 